How do you know when it's time to change the brake fluid in your truck or car? Now, a lot of manufacturers will recommend changing the brake fluid after so many miles or so many years or months have passed, but I think the best way to do it is by verifying the amount of moisture that's in your brake fluid. And you can do that with a brake fluid tester like this from Kai Wheats. Hey, what's up YouTube, Dan the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. This company, Kai Wheats, sent me their little brake fluid tester. It's like a little pen, part number is KVBF01, in exchange for this quick little unboxing and review video. Now I have a lot of videos on replacing pads and rotors and all kinds of brake videos on lots of different makes and models. And one of the questions that I get a lot is, do you need to bleed the brakes when you're done or how often should you change your brake fluid? Now brake fluid does go bad and should be changed every so often. It seems that every vehicle manufacturer gives a different recommendation on the frequency of that brake fluid change. For example, some manufacturers say that you need to change your brake fluid every 30,000 miles, and some of them say change it every two years, and some say change it every five years. It really isn't consistent. I usually put a little notice on some of my brake videos letting people know that brake fluid is hygroscopic, meaning that it attracts water or moisture, and the water or moisture will reduce the boiling point of that brake fluid. Now, when you're braking, of course, the brakes can get really hot, and even a caliper can get really hot just from that heat transfer from those pads and rotors into the caliper itself. Well, the caliper is full of brake fluid. If there's water or moisture in the brake fluid, that increases the likelihood of vapor lock or your brakes just not working or fading or losing some of that brake pressure because if that fluid starts to vaporize, it's not going to be able to compress and apply the correct amount of pressure to the brakes. Brake fluid will absorb moisture, even moisture in the air. That's why all of these containers come sealed. Once you break that seal, you're exposing this brake fluid to the atmosphere, which there's moisture in the atmosphere and it will start to absorb it and start to degrade and go bad. Now, all that to say, now we have a tool here that's gonna tell us how much moisture is in this brake fluid and let us know if it's time to change it. That's a really simple design here. It's kind of shaped like a pen. It comes with a user manual and it also comes with batteries. They're already included, so you already put them in and you press that power button and it will turn on. And the default here is dot three. If you need to change that, you can push the S or select button, change it to four, or five, we'll go back to three. And then you see it just has a percentage readout here and that's gonna give us the percentage of water or moisture in this fluid. Once it's above 3%, it's time to change. This will light up green if it's good, yellow if it's marginal, and red if it's time to change. All right, I'm just gonna put the old brake fluid into this cup. And here's the old brake fluid. There it's, uh, it was red at 3.0, now it says 2.8, 2.9. See, it beeps faster when it turns red. Let's, uh, I'm gonna press the S button to hold that. So you can see it says 3.4. The old fluid is definitely bad. Now let's test the new fluid here from a sealed container. Have to press that S button to unlock the hold and then it goes back to zero. Now it's important that you wipe the end off after each use and you're supposed to let it dry, but I'm just gonna put this in the uh, new fluid here and just see what we come up with. So there we're at 1.3 on the new fluid and that's of course still green. Let's wipe this off. Now that hold feature is nice. You can just press and hold the S button and that will hold the measurement and give you a chance to take it out and look at it. Now, unfortunately, this display is always gonna be upside down when you're trying to read this, dipping it into a master cylinder. So that's kind of weird. I kind of wish that they would flip that around, but it does seem to be working just fine. So let's go test this on a couple vehicles and then we'll come back and wrap this up. All right, now let's test the brake fluid on my 2004 Toyota Tundra. It probably does need to be changed, but let's see what this meter says. Uh-oh. Well, it went yellow and then red. It's kind of all over the place here, just trying to let it settle. Now, this is probably getting an inconsistent reading because I added some fluid recently, and so it's got some new mixed in with old in here, but that tells me that it is time to change. So definitely confirmed that uh, what I was thinking, which is it's time to change the fluid in my truck. Let's go check another car and see what we come up with. All right, this is my 2007 Honda Accord. Let's take a look in here. Now here I have to pull out this little screen in the middle. All right, so we're at zero. Let's see what this one says. Oh, looks like it's right around 2.5%. 
All right, well, it's probably getting close to time to change in the fluid in this vehicle too. I mean, I kind of figured it was time because that was looking pretty dark, but but now we know. We were at uh, in the yellow and blinking slow, so it's time to start thinking about changing the fluid in the Honda as well. Now we're gonna check my 2016 Ford Transit, but here it does say we have dot four fluid, so we're gonna change the meter here. So just press the S button till we get to dot four, and then we're gonna see if we can reach that fluid. It's pretty far in there, let's see. Yep, there we go. Uh-oh. Let's press and hold it. I can't really read the meter, but pressing and holding to see what we come up with. And there it says we're at 2.1 and it's uh, beeping because it's letting us know that it's marginal or it's, it's yellow, not green. Press and hold so that that will turn off. And then the last test here we're gonna do is a 2018 Toyota Highlander. Take a look here, it says dot three or dot four. So I've just got it set to the dot three. Press and hold there. Looks like this one settled right at 1.7. So that one's good. Well, there it is. You can see that it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Let's go ahead and press and hold the power button to power that off. But I'm really impressed. I'm really happy to have this tool. You know, that's gonna let you know if it's time to change your brake fluid. It's a very inexpensive tool, by the way. Now it's pretty neat that there are tools like this nowadays. I never had anything like this when I was younger working on a lot more cars, but it's pretty cool even just for your own vehicles to know when it's time to change your brake fluid and how much moisture has gotten into that fluid. You just don't wanna be driving around with some old brake fluid in your car because if that fluid gets really hot and starts to vaporize, that can definitely cause your brakes to malfunction or at least lose some braking power and efficiency if that uh, moisture in there decides to vaporize. Now again, you can follow your manufacturer's recommendations for changing brake fluid, but I recommend you pick this up. This little brake fluid tester pen is very quick and very easy to use. It only takes a few seconds. I mean, whether you're a mechanic or just somebody who likes to DIY vehicle maintenance, it's really a powerful tool that helps you know how much moisture or water has gotten into your brake fluid and whether or not it's time to get it changed. Now, if you're a professional or a service advisor, and you know, it's kind of nice, it's got a little clip here. It's just like a pen. You can carry that in your shirt pocket. All you have to do is take off the cap of the master cylinder and a few seconds later, you'll know whether or not it's time to change that brake fluid and you can make an accurate recommendation to your customer. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up this exact same brake fluid tester as well from Kai Wheats. Thanks so much for watching and good luck. One way ticket, bitch,